Hi there, my name is Kyle Gullings. I'm a professor of music theory and composition at the University of Texas at Tyler. I am enrolled in this music production class. Um, it's my first online class, it's my first MOOC, and it's my first introduction to electronic music, so I'm very excited to get started. Today I'm going to share with you a video on how to record an acoustic instrument using my personal setup here at home, including three challenges that I uh, had to troubleshoot while I was making this video. I'm very much a beginner in terms of music technology, even though I understand music from an academic perspective very well. Um, so this is a, a fun opportunity for me. Uh, first, we need a sound source. For me, it's my ukulele tonight. And that sound is going to hit uh, my microphone. What I've got here is an AMT404 studio condenser microphone with a cardoid polar pattern which gives the shape of the sound that's going to be recorded. Um, and uh, that sound is then going to travel down this XLR cable into my audio interface. This is an M-Audio Fast Track Pro. It has two inputs. Both of them are combination instrument and XLR inputs. And so that's where I ran into my first difficulty. There's a light right here called signal that's supposed to flash green when it's getting a signal. So I plugged it in, turned it on, powered it on, and played my ukulele with the microphone in front of it and I wasn't getting anything. After some difficulty in scratching my head I finally remembered, oh yeah, this is a condenser microphone. What does that need? It needs phantom power. If we look at the back of the interface we've got a 48V phantom power switch. We turn that on and now when I speak into the microphone or when I uh, test one, there we go. When I speak into the microphone or play the ukulele with the mic up to it, we get a green light. That means it's getting some signal. Um, next, I would adjust that signal level to make sure that it's not peaking, or this is this calls it clipping, uh, that red light up there. Um, and then I'm, I'm ready to go. The audio interface here also includes an analog to digital converter, like all interfaces do. Uh, which takes this analog sound that's being recorded from the microphone and traveling through the XLR cable and converts it to a digital signal, one that's made up of binary code of zeros and ones that the computer can read. That is then going to be uh, put out through the MIDI cable I have plugged in the back and that cable ooh, makes its way to my computer, uh, which is where it's going to uh, reach my, my DAW, my DAW. Um, the recording software I'm using for today is Audacity, it's a free program, and uh, uh, this is where I ran into trouble number two, and that was that I had no recording device showing up. So after a lot of frustration and almost just calling it off and trying to look into it later, I finally realized, oh, I didn't have the right uh, device driver for my audio interface. You might find this difficulty as well. Mine was configured for my Mac over at my work office computer. I had to re-download and install a Windows device driver instead. And once I did that and finally uh, turned off the computer completely and turned it back on, then it finally started working again. And we can see that here. So we've got a little bit of signal there, not a whole lot. Uh, I had one more difficulty, and that was I'm holding my microphone. So next time I'll remember to bring a microphone stand instead. Uh, so remember to turn your stuff off and back on again. Thanks.